What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, from the Gamer Dude here. Welcome you back to another episode of Saga Log. I don't know if this, like, pop filter is working at all. We'll find out. Um, I hope so. I believe that it could. Yeah. But things are kind of, like, all jank and in my way, and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> like, I don't, like, like, I don't know. I just, like, you know, we're out here. Anyway, hopefully you all had a wonderful day. Uh, apparently, I cannot talk today. Um, we have our team. Our team did not change much. The only thing that changed is Babe got Shockwave, which, you know, that's not a bad thing. And then the another thing that we are going to change right now, everybody, is that we are going to give an item to our boy. We're going to go ahead and give the Flame Plate to Lucario for Fire-type Judgments. I finally made the call to do that. Um, now, part of the reason I, I don't have like a ground the ground plate. I don't think I gotta see if I have any Arceus other Arceus plates because if I do, that might get utilized. But I don't think I have the one for the ground type moves. So Life Orb, Shiny Stone, Fire Stone. Oh, Mind Plate, Psychic, which I don't really need. Yeah, nope, that's it. Okay, good to know. Well, I will. I, I really have not been doing a great job at prepping items, which honestly, do I need to do a great job at it? No, not really, but would it be advantageous to do such? Of course, it's always advantageous to do stuff like that, but it's we're, we're making it work. We're making, doing, doing with what we need to do. We're doing, I don't know, brain is gonna, my brain is pseudo-functioning. It's just kind of existing. <laughs> to say the very least um but yes so today we have another gym battle and i'm a l very i am quite nervous about this gym but so nervous in fact that i'm not gonna take it on first because we have you know some little things to do we have things to take care of you know if we don't take care of them now i'm just not gonna take care of them ever and that's a problem so we gotta get some encounter enos Hey, it's a Wigglytuff. We actually talked about Wigglytuff last episode, and it's beautiful lipstick, and it's lovely little unknown tail. I always call it unknown, and it's unknown. It, it does. You can't tell me. Like, people, like, that. you can't say that doesn't look like an unknown. Like, you you look at this back of Wigglytuff's tail, and you're, or, or Wigglytuff, uh, Wobbuffet's tail, and you're just like, what do you do with that unknown, though? And... Yeah, we just we love our boy our girl Wiggly Tough with the lipstick on looking pretty. It's confused, that's why I would call it pretty, but you know, it just can't accept itself for who it really is. And a very pretty Pokemon that, you know, we all should know and love. But you know, tis the season for getting to believe in yourself and know yourself. I'm learning that path as well, so I understand Wigglytuff. Like, I have to learn it. You have to learn it. That's what makes us a perfect duo together. W are we the true gamer duo? I don't know. Like, only you can find out. Only you can let us know if we are or not. And by getting into this Pokeball and not dropping our special attack, would you tell us? But, you know, it just doesn't want to be here. It, it, it just is... It's being... It's being... It's being mean. And the more it be mean, the more I don't want to catch it. So you should probably, you know, get into the ball. So that way I would love you more. For not wasting my resources. But I guess it just wants to sit and waste my resources. Which, you know, I can't I can't complain because we have a good team right now. And I love the way that the team is built and how structurally sound we are. And, you know, it is what it is. So, anyways... Um, off the game, how was your guys' day today? Mine was pretty good. Um, my team finally decided that they wanted to win, which is, like, wonderful. Um, fun fact, fun story about that one, is I was at work, obviously, because I, I work at retail, so Sundays, I don't usually, I'm, I, unless I request them off, I don't usually get them off, and I haven't been requesting them this year because I just am like, eh, like, I just, I could watch the game, and I want to watch the game. But also, just, you know, Sundays being off is just, a, like, with everything that's going on right now, I need a Monday or a Thursday so that I can call and figure out college, because college is one big kerfuffle of interesting knowledge. Um, and I 
so I didn't take the day off, obviously, but we were going in San Francisco, and I was like, you know what? We 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 beat San Francisco 14 of the last 16 times, and I just I hope that we can do well. But smarty, after I was talking about being smart and it got caught. Um, so yeah, so I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Like, I, I'll just take the day and, uh, you know, not take it off, but, you know, work on it, check on the game, make sure everything's going on. You know, the Seattle season's in oofies, but of course, I always record the games and then watch them afterwards. Um, except for the Packers game, because n no, I was not going to watch us fail horrifically and not get any points on offense, but... That's the only game that I was like, nope, you can delete it. Not, I'm not going to watch it. So, <laughs> I've watched every other game besides the Packers game. And, yeah, that, that's kind of one of the downfalls of recording it is because you can just say no if the game was bad and you can't just have the eternal hope because you already know it's going to happen. Like, <laughs> that does make it more difficult. But, you know, it, then, then the three hours of my day wasn't gone. So, there's a positive there, I guess. Um, but, yeah. So I didn't record this game, because I was like, it's whatever, I will watch the highlights, I'll figure it out. Um, I believe in the team, but also, do I need to sit and watch the team and utilize that as part of my day-to-day? -day? No, because there's a bunch of other things that I can be doing. And then, the one time I don't record is the one time we win the game. And I, it made me laugh a little bit today because I'm just like I cannot believe the one time also hi Roomba the one time I don't record the game that happens so it was kind of just hilarious when when I uh, was looking and I was like oh we won we we did it so um we actually kind of pseudo have a path to the playoffs it's a very annoying and difficult path to the playoffs but it's a path nonetheless and I can still believe in the team um, but it is really hard to explain to people that are so used to winning and like, they're like, oh, our season's done. It's like, mm, no, no, it's not. It's very unlikely, but it's not over. It, it ain't over. It doesn't end until we are mathematically eliminated, but... Like, and the only team that is mathematically eliminated, sorry, Joy, is the the Lions. So, <laughs> actually, that's not the only team. I, I'm, I'm kind of the only team in the NFC. Because technically, the Texans and the, uh, da, 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 the, the Texans and the uh, Jaguars are the other two teams that are mathematically eliminated. So, <laughs> yeah, so, uh... It's fine. We'll, it will make it. It'll be okay. Also, the Jets are mathematically eliminated now as well, I believe, actually. I don't think there's any feasible way of them getting in there um, after their loss today. So, four teams are mathematically eliminated. All The other 28 have a potential of making it to the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, that, like, we'll see. Because the Seattle is in a weird spot. We don't have a first-round draft pick. Now, for those that aren't sports fanatics, um, means that we aren't first. So, in a draft, all 32 teams get to pick a, a, mo a, a pick a, po a, a Pokemon. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I guess I can relate it to Pokemon this way, actually, because um, let's say you're in a draft league, right? Well, in a draft league, every round you have one Pokemon that you can select. Now. It is not a snake draft, which a snake draft would be like, for example, if you got first um, in your league, you pick last and then first in the second round. No. So if you get first, let's say, you, you're picking last. So you win the Super Bowl, which is like the big event. So like if you won a championship in your league and your league had 32 players, um, you would be picking at pick 32 for round one, round two, round three to fill that team and so on and so forth the only difference is that in the nfl there is seven rounds so no matter what there's seven rounds even if there's people or things left on the board there's seven just like in a draft league where you typically have like 12 or 14 rounds you just have seven so but a snake draft what that would be is if you were last in your league you get to pick like i said 
last in the first round, first in the second round. So, no, it is not like that. Um, so, yes. So, you can trade those picks. Um, you can trade those featured draft picks to get other players and get other members of the team. And we traded our first round picks. So, if we do really bad... The Jets get the benefit. We don't even get the benefit of it. So I want us to do really well and not have a first round, like a good first round draft pick. But in order to do that, we'd have to like do well for the rest of the season and win games. Because, you know, like I said, um, if draft if draft order was like how you did in the um, in a draft league, that's exactly what it would be. It's like the same situation so i like i said so it was really funny because it's like the one day that i decide not to do it is the one day that we decide that you know we're gonna win and do well <laughs> in said win but you know what i'm not mad at the team so you know pubitar may be frustrated because he might be a 49ers fan but you know it's it's it's, it's okay pubitar you, you you are you're still seed seven it's still it's fine like you don't have to be enraged and angry um <laughs> Brittany Brittany will take care of you and will relinquish that anger it's fine yeah so I, I I'm really hoping this pop filter helps Jonas thinks it's not gonna help and I kind of I really agree but this is evident that evidence that I'm trying <laughs> Evidence that I'm trying to fix it, and you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna buy a cord off of Amazon, even though it's money, it's money well spent. So, if I can get the cord from Amazon and figure it out, like that's that's what I'm gonna try and situate and do. So, I mean, I, I, I'm sure it's not that bad, it probably is actually, like, it probably is really bad, but you know. It, it has been kind of a standardized thing, but I want improvement. And this is like a great way to improve. We improved the lighting over the last few years, like over the last few years. Uh, definitely. We've improved the lighting over the last few months. So that's been good to see and kind of look at. And now we're improving, you know, the audio quality. That's a great thing to improve. And then we're going to mess with and improve the... Um, I don't know what we can improve actually. Like that's that's where we're gonna go into the dip the depths of the channel and figure out where we can improve what we can do. Um, because I'm failing at doing my test because I'm trying to test something and just not testing it, which is like oof. But you know, that's what happens. You wanna test something and then you just absolutely forget about it. And don't remember it at all, ever. And it's just like, yeah, you know that thing that you were going to do that you just never did? That's kind of where I'm at right now. Is it, it, It's just that thing that you were going to do that you have not done at all yet. And I'm like, yeah, I did one, but I haven't done the other ones. So, yeah, I got to, like, I don't know. I got to figure out, like, how I want to go about the test. Is what I'm finding. Because, like... Obviously, there are things that I am doing, like asking questions and doing things. But I want to be able to figure out better ways to promote the content and promote things that are going on rather than just, oh, yeah, this thing went out, by the way, Discord people. Like, <laughs> I love, like, it's a thing that I should do is the Discord and, like, utilizing the Discord. So I'm obviously going to continue to utilize the Discord. But... I want to be able to be like on YouTube, be like, <laughs> like just and tease things and mess around with things, and you only can do that by learning and adapting and figuring it out. So, being moldable and adaptable and allowing yourself to be adaptable is something that is extremely important and something that you definitely should continue to take into account. And it's something that's funny is talking about being moldable and being adaptable is that as people we do have a normal uh, and it's completely normal to not be and to be hard stuck in your ways and only feel like you should do this and if you're not doing this like what are you doing and why is this the problem and blah 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 like 
it is definitely there's a whole bunch of different reasons that you could people would talk to me about wow hi moltres don't do that like and i would agree like i i am i am very hard stuck in my ways it's a lot of the time i try to be moldable but i always end up finding a way to come back to the normality of things so i get it like i get why you don't want to change and the hesitancy to change being there and being present is 100 percent understandable and believable so like this is why lately like this this microphone has been a thing and that other things like have been so stagnated is because we have the hesitancy to change as the people a lot of the time and so being able to be moldable and being able to be um like better um and listening to other people and making sure that things are done and figured out helps because of that because you're able to see it from another perspective see it from another eye and another angle that you may not have seen before or that you have not allowed yourself to see because we we blind ourselves in our own inhibition we blind ourselves in our own hopes and things that we want to be available for and that we believe that we're good enough for and are we good enough for this stuff yeah of course like we are but we are not seeing things from all sides and we're not letting ourselves see it from the angles of which we should be letting ourselves see it because keeping everything to one area makes sense it does in theory because you're not letting yourself see all the possibilities and all of the sides you're restricting your ability by not allowing yourself to see all angles you're restricting your ability to to progress to go forward and to move forward and again as human beings we are all at fault for that just like as this human being has a vaporeon um that actually is a little bit of a threat <laughs> i was gonna make a joke and realized that i really can't make a joke because not uh, this is not a bad pokemon to be <laughs> it's an arum it's an arum therefore it's difficult um okay i like how it's because it's arum is why it's difficult that's not what i meant but that's how i came out entirely but you know sorry arum oopsies <laughs> um but yeah so it's like there's ways to improve and we're just not letting ourselves do it and as humans we hold ourselves back a lot of the time we we do and it's something that we definitely need to to fix and i believe we can over time not instantaneously but over time we will be able to fix it and i totally believe in ourselves in our human ability although it is looking bleak because oh my gosh people are really it's really unfortunate um to see the direction that humanity's going in but it's not something i can control so or at least not something i feel like i can control rather like it, it, it is hard it is very hard to just look at it and be like well humanity is a thing um but you have to you have to just let yourself look at it from that angle bug buzz is gonna not murder good or is gonna murder but yeah i don't know what's your thought process on humanity and where it's going and what is it doing like what do you feel like is happening as far as humanity goes and do you like where the direction is going or are you pretty unfortunate and sad about the direction like i am like let me know because it is i know that's an interesting take and something you wouldn't expect from the channel to be asking about that kind of stuff because it just doesn't seem like a thing that i would be inquiring about but it is it really is something that i am truly interested in and interested to see your kind of interpretation on humanity's directions so yeah i don't know we'll find out what you guys think because i feel like we as you know early or early early millennials late millennials to like early generation z we're gonna have a lot 
of trials and tribulations with the state of everything and the oof of everything. And that's why you're here, right? Because, I mean, we do. We have, there is. <laughs> we have trials and tribulations. We have issues. We have problems that we, we can't just not solve. We can't not find the answer because uh, life depends on, like, future life depends on us finding the answers to certain issues. Um, and, you know, there's a lot on our plate. And I get that. But we gotta work through it. We can push through it. We got it. We, we gotta believe in ourselves. Again, believe in yourself because you can be the best of you that you, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying that also for myself because I have a, like I said, horrific habit of not doing that. And it becomes, like, it becomes a manifestation of in... And we don't want that. So, um, hi, Mr. Broark. No, Byron. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm like, Roark? I always forget those two people's names. Inferfrick. <laughs> Yikes, Rudy's. I definitely just switched. Made a bad switch, and I spilt my soda. Um, yay. Uh, well, okay. I say I made a bad. No, I'm not even. Nope. <laughs> I have Brittany. We have Brittany now. We're fine. <laughs> uh, that was great. Well, I said it was a bad switch, but you know, I wanted. Maybe I can take the risk, Doodle. No. Oh my God. But Brittany still almost died. Okay, Brittany. Okay. Why? Oh, wow. Um, Dakon, you have been a really good addition to this team, and I'm very happy I made this to call Crobat. You know, the Pokemon I always forget? You know that thing? That thing is what we're fighting now. And we'll send it in Mr. Lucario. Um, I forgot. We got Shadow Claw. So we actually have a decent... Oh, shoot. We actually have a decent team. What is it using? I'm, like, speeding up, and I probably should not. Oh, gosh. We are not. No. We are not doing it. I'm going to send in 2-bit. Crunch. Crunch is nothing. Oh, wow. That did way more than nothing, but, you know, it's it'll work. Bruh. Bruh. What the heck? Why? Why did it actually have good stuff? Oof. It, I'm like, now we double miss. Double miss hype. Double miss hype. Okay. That gave us 50, 5,400, which doesn't make any sense because I thought we were supposed to get something less. But it's fine. We, we did it. We did what we needed to. So, boop, 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 boop. So, anyways, um, I think this will actually cap off today's episode because I need to heal up anyway. We need to talk with uh, Barry, and we'll talk with Barry and let Barry and Rowan tell us, you know, all of the interesting adventures. You know, Rowan would actually be somebody that would be great for advice giving. I'm not even going to front. Like, if Rowan had advice to give, I would definitely sit and listen because... Not because he's an old man or anything. Not at all because he's an old man. Because, honestly, he is a smart old individual. But because he's, like, he would tell you straight up, like, what's going on and what he thinks about the world and how the world is and the state of it. Because, like, when this event happens, when Galactic decides to be dumb and bomb, um everything which is exactly what's going on there it is i was like waiting for it i was like well there's too much talking but yeah because there's the guardians of the lake and he's like oh yeah there's these awesome legendary pokemon but the legendary pokemon can't do anything because well they're currently being held captive by galactic and galactic is actually being smart for a change but we can't we have to go to lake valor now and honestly Lake Valor, we have to go to Valor Verer, with Valor Ver Verity and Acuity. And honestly, that'll be a fun, yet scary episode that we're going to have to contend and deal with in the next episode. 
um, item. Oh, no. Who has fly? Brittany does. It's always... It's it's weird seeing Brittany have fly. Okay, I can't fly there. What is what is easier? I think Veilstone is easier. But, yeah. No, we will see you guys in the next episode where we take on Valor and we have a bunch to contend with. And, honestly, having this much to contend with is going to make this next episode quite the wild ride also my orange berries that i have are growing guys see they grow and they actually do the thing when you do things legitimately that's proof that i was doing things legitimately also by the way that i was freaking growing the berries and just left the berries because it was like nope we got enough but yeah ah uh, that was a process like i said they took 16 hours to grow so Anyway, in the next episode, we will take you off right here. Love you all so very much, and keep up your amazing, wonderful day. Bye-bye! Annoying bye! -bye.